Hello everyone, I'm Yvonne, a children's librarian here at the Manchester City Library, and I want to welcome you to Elementary Experiments, or welcome you back if you've been here before. Here we will do experiments, activities, and craft aimed at elementary grades 1 through 6. Um, with a focus on STEAM, or science, technology, engineering, arts, or math. With school still in and weather warming up, we know that everyone has a lot to do, so we will continue to post uh, two elementary experiments each month here online to share our activities and crafts with as many people as possible. So that is going to be on the first and the third Tuesday of each month. But if you are in grades one through six and you like what you see, remember that we also have each month activities and crafts that we do together in person on the last Tuesday of the month at 3.30 p.m. at the Manchester City Library. That's the main branch. So if you want to join us in person um, and you are in the correct age range, then please do visit our website to register and make sure that we have enough supplies and crafts for everyone. Now that we've covered all of that, let's get into this week's Elementary Experiments theme. Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Elementary Experiments where we are going to be doing some science tricks. Um, it's like magic tricks, but with science. Um, I do want to just remind everyone that, that this is going to be um, our last month of spring. Um, so we're going to have our usual two videos um, up this month and have our in-person elementary experiments um, on the last uh, Tuesday of this month, which is going to be the 30th. Um, but then um, we are going to transition into our summer reading program. Um, and then we're going to be doing elementary experiments every other week. And we are going to be doing them in person um, because it is summer. Um, and so we're doing them as part of our summer reading program. Um, if you cannot get to um, our program even in the summer, we are going to be putting some videos online, but they are going to be shortened videos. We're not going to do everything together. Um, I'm probably just going to kind of tell you guys what we're doing um, and put out the instructions. Um, but it is going to be very reduced because we're going to be very busy um, doing our in-person summer programs. Um, so if you are in Manchester, definitely take a look at our website um, and see what programs we have going on um, because we're going to have elementary experiments plus even more. Um, but this week we are looking at science tricks, um, our uh, science-based magic tricks. Um, so I'm going to get our um, stuff for our activity, um, and I will meet you back here in just a second. All right, so our um, activity for our science tricks elementary experiments is going to be to make some dancing drawings. Um, now for this, we are going to need um, a plate or a tray um, or a bowl. Um, something that has like a very smooth surface um, like glass um, and that can, you can hold water in. Um, we're going to need some water um, and we're going to need some uh, dry erase markers. Um, now this actually works best with new dry erase markers um, because over time um, it just gets harder for the markers to um, detach in the way that I'm going to show you. Um, but um, we're going to just try and make them work with what we had um, in our supply cabinet. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, um, so what we're going to do first is we are going to take um, a dry erase marker um, and we are going to draw a simple drawing um, on our um, smooth uh, flat surface. I'm going to try doing a little stick figure. Got a little stick figure here. I'm just making sure that all of it, all of the stick figure's limbs are very well attached. Um, and then what we do is we're going to pour water um, into our bowl and try and make it so that oh, it gets underneath 
our drawing. All right. And here, it should lift up. Mine worked a little bit. Let me see if I can show you guys. There we go. So not all of my little stick figures had uh, came off perfectly, um, but he is sort of dancing around there. Um, and you can make like uh, other figures and put them in here. Um, I actually have a piece of glass here as well. So if we try and draw a little flower maybe. Flower. Oh, that's so shiny. Okay. And we're going to see if we can get this. All right, we're going to try this again with a little flower. And I'm going to see if I can get it to come off in one piece. Awesome. Okay. So that actually worked pretty well. I don't know if you guys can see it. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys were able to see um, the flower in the bowl um, because it is very light. Um, on camera um, but I'm gonna try another trick um, so I've got my piece of paper here and I have um, the um, marker floating in the water so if I put it down there we go see I just snagged it from where it was floating onto this um, let's see <laughs> I tried to transfer it. Unfortunately, not the stem did not uh, transfer over very well. Uh, but yeah, so the real question is, um, what is going on here? Most of you have probably seen someone used or used a dry erase marker before. Um, but if not, um, basically what happens is um, we have our dry erase marker, which is a specially made marker, um, and we have a smooth uh, surface and so we can write on that surface right with um, the dry erase marker um, and then we can actually just rub it right off um, and it comes off super easy like um, and you don't need soap or water like you would with washable markers um, and it's definitely not permanent like a permanent marker um, so how do they make dry erase markers so easy to wipe off, right? So it's actually pretty cool. So um, the pigments in our marker, and pigments um, are the color, right? Um, and in, um, in markers and paints and stuff, pigments are usually actually very tiny um, specks of color um, that are inside of a medium, right? So for um, dry erase markers, the medium or sort of the liquid uh, that, that those tiny particles are in are um, a like an oily silicon polymer, right? It's a specially made liquid um, that doesn't attach very strongly to um, other smooth surfaces. Um, it is also mixed with a special type of alcohol. So um, when we put the color onto our smooth surface, um, the alcohol is there initially and sort of binds or sticks to um, our plate, but alcohol actually evaporates very quickly, right? Um, it gets drawn up into the air um, and particleizes. Um, like when you leave water out on a hot day um, and the water level gets lower because it's evaporating into the air, that's what the alcohol does very quickly. Um, and that means that it's just all of a sudden there's just the um, the particles of the color, the pigments, and um, the silicon um, oil base. And both of those come really easily off of um, a smooth surface. Now, if you um, draw really fast and immediately swipe, um, you see that it smears instead of coming off so nicely. And that's because I did not give the alcohol in our marker enough time to evaporate. So if we wait and then swipe, it comes off super clean, right? So 
Um, for our dancing drawings, basically what we've done um, is we put our, um, our dry erase markers onto a smooth surface, um, either um, the tiny mirror that I have or the bottom of the dish, which is also very smooth. Um, and then um, once the alcohol evaporated, uh, we poured water um, onto the surface um, and the water actually was able to get in between the smooth surface um, and the pigment um, because remember, there's really nothing binding um, the pigment to the smooth surface once the alcohol is evaporated. So the water kind of just snuck its way right under there um, and just was able to lift it right up. And then um, because the pigment and the silicon um, binding in the pigment um, of our pen is light, um, is lighter than water, it doesn't float on top. And if we are careful enough um, and a little bit lucky, um, we'll have our entire picture lift up at once, um, like my flower did, um, and then be able to float on the surface while we kind of have fun with it. All right, I will warn you though, um, before we uh, sign off on our activity, is that dry erase markers are only erasable on a smooth, non-porous, which means it has no holes, so a very smooth surface. If there are um, any, any, things, any places where um, the pigment can catch in, um, like if you do it on clothing, or even if you were to color on something like brick, um, which has very small holes even, so it is porous, it has tiny pores in it, um, then it will not wipe off smoothly. Um, so definitely double check with um, any adults before you use um, any dishes or anything like that, because sometimes even if it looks smooth, um, it, it does have very, very, very tiny holes in it. Um, so, so if you're not 100% sure, um, if your dishes are okay to write on, um, then try and find like a small mirror um, or like a glass dish, okay? Okay, I hope that you guys have fun and I hope that you have some good luck um, getting your images to float off cleanly. Um, if you are not able to do this at home, if you don't have dry erase markers or you're not sure about your plates, um, remember that we will have um, elementary experiments in person at the Manchester City Library on the last Tuesday of this month. And we will have um, our little glass squares um, as well as our dry erase markers out for everyone to have fun with. Hello everyone, welcome to our science tricks craft. Um, so uh, this week we are going to be making a bubble cube um, just because it looks super neat. Um, so what we have here is our kit. If you are in the Manchester um, area and can get to the main branch of the Manchester Library and are in grades one through six, um, please come and pick one up. Um, in it, we are going to have a little bit of bubble mix, which I've already um, put in my bowl. Um, it's going to have the instructions as normal. Um, and in this kit, we have one larger um, pipe cleaner or chenille stem. We've got 12, we've got 12 um, segments of straw and also 12 segments of pipe cleaner or chenille stem. Uh, and what we're going to do is try not to spill them everywhere. All right. So to make our cube, what we're going to do is we are going to take uh, three of our pipe cleaner um, pieces and we are going to twist them together until we have the top of a pyramid. And we are going to repeat that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our straw pieces over our um, over our pipe cleaners. Um, this is going to help the um, liquid, the bubble liquid um, um, stick because it doesn't stick quite as well to the pipe cleaners. I forgot one of our um, triangle ends. 
And then we are going to um, put all of these into a cube shape, um, which might take a little bit of finessing, but we are going to get it done. All right, here is my cube. It's a little bit wonky, but um, I hope it's gonna work. Now, this is my first time actually trying to make this go, so uh, we can see. All right, so uh, first we can try and dunk it in um, to see if it works. Um, and then we can also use our um, long pipe cleaner here to make a bubble wand. Um, that we can play with as well. Very simple. All right, let's see. All right, we got one side. All right, oh. Okay, so the hard part here is um, to get um, a bubble onto each of its sides. Um, I think part of my problem is I don't have quite enough bubble liquid in my thing. Um, the directions um, do say to put like an inch in here, um, and I only have like a quarter of an inch. Um, so I think that's definitely part of it. Oh, 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 okay. I think it just worked. Oh, nope. And I popped it. Okay. It did look really cool for a second though. Um, so what happens here um, is if we can get it on to all uh, six sides of our um, cube, like I did just for a second, um, basically what's going to happen is that all of the bubbles um, want to have as little surface area as possible, right? So um, that means that the, the solution is going to be thicker um, and it's like less likely to pop, right? So um, two different bubbles um, will share one wall, right? Um, but when we get all of uh, the bubbles in the cube um, having walls, um, then they actually like move to the middle so that they uh, share a middle space. And it does look really cool, um, but I am having a little bit of trouble. I'm going to um, put on a little bit more fluid to see if I can get it to work on camera. Um, or like get it to work long enough to show you and see if the camera will pick up the bubble. Um, so I'm, we're going to try that one more time. So I've got more liquid in here. Um, and this is really just, this is literally just dish soap, dish soap and water, nothing fancy. Um, so if I can get it to work here, then really anyone should be get, able to get it to work um, as long as you have these items. Okay, there we go, we got it. Do you guys see how it's kind of like all the sides have, oh, oh and it popped. Um, but the, basically there was like a square in the middle of our cube um, where all of the walls of the bubble um, had like come together um, and kind of like, kind of like a tesseract looking thing. Really cool. Um, so, okay, so we definitely know it's possible um, this demonstration is definitely not the, the, the best. I have kind of too much suds going on, um, but, the, um, but the actual bubble itself um, with using the dishwasher or the dish soap and the water is working pretty well. Um, and we do know that um, our cube made out of our um, straws and our pipe cleaner can work. Um, it just takes a little bit. Oh, yeah, yes. And it, oh, I've got it again. Again, I've got too much suds in here, so it's kind of making it a little bit hard to see. Um, but it does definitely work. Um, and I hope that you guys can have some fun um, figuring this out on your own. All right, everyone, thank you so much um, for joining me for our elementary experiments where we. Um, looked into some science tricks that you can use um, to entertain your friends um, or just have some fun. Um, I definitely hope that you were able to make your drawing dance and to get your bubble cube together. But if you did want to uh, do these um, activities and crafts um, with other kids um, and myself, 
Um, you can definitely join us at our um, elementary experiments in person, which is going to be the last Tuesday of this month, which um, this month is going to be May 30th. Um, so come in at uh, 3.30 into the Winchell Room at the Manchester City Library if you are in grades one through six um, and you have the time, we would be really happy to see you there. Um, if you can't come in um, during that period of time, we will have um, our crafts, our Make a Bubble Cube crafts um, available at the children's desk. So you can stop in there if you want that. Otherwise, I hope to see you um, in our next video um, in two weeks. And remember, uh, this is that will be our last May video and that will be our last um, sort of regular elementary experiments video before we get into our summer reading program. So definitely um, keep an eye out for our summer reading schedule. There's going to be a lot of really cool events, um, which does mean that our um, videos here will be a quite a bit more brief, a lot shorter, because we've just got so much going on. Um, but I do hope that you will um, keep up with us anyway. We will be definitely having some more fun um, STEAM related things to get through um, both this month and this summer. All right, till then, bye.